Hey everybody, Cody here with another Proto Tech Tip. And today I would like to discuss with you the different types of end conditions for cutting features inside of SolidWorks. So a lot of sheet metal designers require the addition of tapped holes, countersinks, and cutouts in their parts. SolidWorks has a pretty wide array of features available to help you do this, but it's important to remember that SolidWorks is not primarily a sheet metal CAD software. A lot of their features are built generally towards a more 3D style of design, where at Protocase we tend to use it a lot for smaller single plane parts such as sheet metal. So tapped holes and countersinks are convenient features to add to your design which aid in assembling or mounting other parts or components. The feature we use to put a tapped hole or a countersink in your part is called the hole wizard. So let's check this feature out now inside of SolidWorks. So, inside of this hole wizard we have different types of features that you can choose from. Counter bores, blind holes, tapped holes, countersinks, slots, etc. The one I'm going to use today as an example is the tap feature. So it allows you to pick the standard that you want to work with. Typically the only ones we work with here are ANSI inch and ANSI metric. Once your style is picked it then allows you to pick a type. Typically we only use the tapped hole type. After this it's time to pick a size. These taps are sized for all standard types of screws, however there's a little box down below that allows you to show custom sizing and allows you to input custom values for a hole. Now the important feature that I want to discuss with you today is called the end condition. This is essentially when to terminate the tapped hole in your model. There are a couple different options here. Blind will allow you to input a depth to which the tapped hole should terminate at. Keep in mind this is not typically used for sheet metal parts. Through all will push that tapped hole through all pieces of geometry in your part. Typically this is a bad thing in sheet metal parts because we generally only want to tap to the material thickness. So if you have a bent U bracket and you put a tapped hole through all on one of the sides, it will travel through the opposite side as well. Up to next we'll send your tapped hole through to the next surface that intercepts the profile. Up to surface will allow you to pick a surface on the part in which to terminate the tapped hole at. Up to vertex will allow you to pick a point on your model to terminate the tapped hole at. If you were only tapping the material thickness of a piece of sheet metal, you would start your tap on one side and the end condition would be up to surface on the opposite side. Offset from surface is the final condition which allows you to input a value in which your tapped hole will terminate offset from your chosen surface. So there you have it. There's some information on the end conditions for cutting features inside of SolidWorks. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at Thanks for watching and we'll catch you back here next week.